Hey, what's up guys? It's Michael here. So I'm gonna bring you some new hack videos today, but I won't be able to film because my memory card on my real camera is dead. Like, well, it's dead, like it's not working. Um, and so I'll be filming on my phone, but obviously I need my phone to show you what to do. So you won't be seeing any more video, but I'm currently, I'm still on tour. I'm here in Miami today. Let me show you the view. Well, this window is extremely dirty, but over there you see the beach. Over here you see some Miami. Super dirty window. Okay, so here we go. From here on, you will just be hearing my voice. All right, guys, so what's up? It's Michael here. There is a new Pokemon Go Plus Plus update for the 1.15.0, or as you see here, 0 0.45.0. So I'm gonna demo it for you real quick, and then I'm going to show you how to get it. I've already made the video how to install it, so I'm just going to attach that at the end of this video once I demo it. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, you see the joystick, but it won't work until you go into settings, turn on fake location. This will allow you to walk around. Just turn that on, still not working. This has happened for the last couple updates. Once you turn it on, you still have to, uh, you have to hard close the app then come back. Also, this will allow you to use the screen to tap to walk. Yeah, that's not working either. So let's hard close it and come back in. <clears throat> Open it again. Come on. All right, now we're back in. Let's try now. Yes, now you'll see the joystick is working, except that we're frozen, but <laughs> there we go. Okay, um, so also as I said, when you click this little walking man, that means tap to walk. Make sure the red arrow on your compass is always facing north, otherwise this will go weird. So I just click on the screen and drag in the direction I want to go. And um, you see he's walking kind of slow, so let's go ahead and do two times speed. Now he's walking faster, and you can go even faster than that, four or eight times, but that's like too fast, it'll think you're a car or something. As you see on the right, those little circles pop up. Let's click the horsey. I just clicked it, and he's going to walk over there all by himself, and he'll go find it. There it is. It pops up. There's another one. Let's click that one. Then he'll just walk over to that one. Another way to see these is you click on the map here, and then go to... Well, they usually show up on the map. I just opened this update, so I don't know. don't know why they're not showing up. Let's do a search. Oh, there it is. Cool, so you can search. Wow, those are thousands of miles away. I don't know why it's telling me that. Okay, so I don't know how to use that right now, but so as you're walking around, these things will pop up on the side. Another thing is it has an IV calculator, which will tell you the IV of all the Pokemon that you own, and you can sort it by highest IV or combat power or whatever. Um, so that's really helpful when you're looking to evolve stuff. Let's see. Also, when you click on a Pokemon, if you look at the top right there, it tells you their IV right there. It tells you all their bonus stats. So you don't have to wonder. Let's go ahead and catch this guy. <clears throat> oh, no, we didn't get him. Come on. Um, what else do we have? We have... Okay, we don't need him, whatever, we'll run away. <clears throat> okay, so we've got the home button, and that is wherever you started, it will take you back there. So because this doesn't have teleport, it wants you to run everywhere, so you can set it to like eight times speed and run to another city, which I guess is like driving to another city, but that to me is way too much work. You can teleport using this if you have a Mac. If you want to know how to do that, I have a video down in the description how to teleport with a Mac. But so as you'll see, like I run up here, let's pretend I ran to another city, going this fast. Then I want to go home. So the idea is it doesn't want you to get caught, so you click home. So you would run somewhere as if you had driven there, you'll play there, and then when you're done you hit home and he'll run all the way back home so that the game doesn't think you ever teleported or did anything weird. But now he's just running in circles, but we're home. <laughs> I don't know why he's doing that. Um, another feature is if you want to hatch eggs or um, get your buddy candy. This one is this one's probably my favorite because it gets you your buddy candy real quick. 
you just hit this flag and he will just patrol the area just walk around and the whole time this will be hatching your eggs and getting your buddy candy so that one is incredibly useful I'll just leave this to get my candies when I'm not playing when I'm not doing anything I'll just leave it open running around eggs and candies that's probably actually one of my favorite features along with the IV calculator um, and if you want to be able to teleport also so I always have this app and the teleport app on my phone which is a different video you can see it down in the description um, it requires no computer you just download it right onto your phone no jailbreak either so that one's really useful as well if you want to teleport and snipe Pokemon or just play in an entirely different state or country for a while um, but it doesn't have any of the other features all it has is the teleport I think I'm pretty sure um, yeah so he's patrolling let's see what we got let's see see that Atkins popped up on the side if I click it I'll walk to him but I just have him patrolling now let's see what he finds next got all these so let's just click this Goldeen so I can show you how it goes over there again oh maybe I take the patrol off whoops Oh no, it still worked. Landed right on it. Let's see if there's anything else on the. Also, I don't like the joystick, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Show joystick. And now to walk, I'll just click this little guy. Click and drag. That's my favorite way to walk around. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. That's all the features I'm seeing here. I know there's more to this map. Whoa! Look at all those things just popped up. Um, let's see, map. This thing will take you to major cities if you're near any of them, but again, you would have to like run across the ocean for these since you can't teleport. Uh, what's this? You can also add a location for where you are. Um, also on the map, so I could drag it here and click walk here. If I know there's a place that I want to go, like the has good stops or something, I just click walk here and it'll go. He's going right now, you just can't see it. That's a feature you can actually turn on, dismiss map on walk here. So now when I do it, I'll drag here, I'll click walk here, and then the map disappears and I'll still walk there. Um, what else? There's something else on this map I know that I'm missing. It used to show all the Pokemon, I don't know. Here we go, maybe... Okay, we can show the stops, show the gyms. Let's show... It should be showing them. Oh, there's the stops, that's cool. So if you want to go to a cluster of stops, you could just find some and click walk here. And then... Oh, we crashed. <laughs> okay, on that note, you get it. You see all the features. I'm going to go ahead and attach the old video I have on how to install it real quick. <clears throat> One minor note is at the end, sometimes, if you've never done this before, when you first click on the uh, app, once it gets on your phone, it will say something like, you have to trust your own email address as a developer. All you do is go into Settings, General, Profiles and Device Management, click on your email and hit Trust, and then hit Trust, and then it'll be fine and it'll open up just fine. So that's the only difference. And that's it, guys. Okay, so I'm going to start off by deleting my app so you guys can see I'm getting the new one. This is super incredibly easy. It does require a computer. So I've provided links down below. As you can see here, these are the downloads you'll need. It's just two downloads. If you have a Mac, you'll click the City of Impactor for Mac right here. Windows, you'll click here, and then everyone will click this Pokemon Go file right there. Once you've downloaded those, you will have these two files. Um, something like this unless if you're on a PC all you do is just open the impactor like normal you should know how to extract it I mean I don't think it's very difficult there shouldn't be any confusion if you've ever you know extracted anything on your PC but here is the impactor what it looks like I'm not gonna install it because I already have it but I can still use it from here you don't even have to drag it to the applications folder you just open it open it Okay, just hit open. It'll ask you if you're sure you want to open it. Just open. This is what Impactor looks like. Nice and easy. This already has my phone in it. In order for your phone to show up, you have to be in your iTunes and you have to be logged into your iTunes. That's very important. If you're not logged in to your iTunes account on here, the same one as your phone, like the same, what's it called? iTunes account. I whatever the iTunes account is that you sync your phone with or whatever, make sure you're the same one is logged in on your phone 
as it's logged in there. If you're not sure, log out. Let me see if I can find out how real quick. It's super easy. Um, okay, so you're just going to go to the top of iTunes. I know you can't see the top bar, but you just go to account. That's This is where your account is, so you can see if it's the right one. Um, then you would just hit sign out and then you would just log back in with the correct account. Then once you do that, everything should be good to go. Your phone should show up in here. If not, you might need to update your iTunes or something, but this for me has never been a problem because I've always been logged in on the phone and the iTunes is the same and it always shows up. So if it's not showing up for you, experiment with that. Make sure you're on the right account. Make sure your phone is on the same account. Um, that's all I got for that. Should You shouldn't really have a problem with this. The second problem everyone is always asking about is they will click start. And as you can see, this is to install Super SU, aka root your Android. People will hit start and they'll say, it says this is for Android devices. Well, don't hit start. <laughs> That's not part of the instructions. So those two things are common questions I just remembered. But here we go. We are almost done already. So. All we do now is we take the Pokemon Go, the IPA file that you downloaded, the 1.5.0, and you literally just drag it on top. Don't hit start or anything else. You just drag it and you drop it. It's going to ask you for your iTunes login. This is the same one that you just logged in on your iTunes. It's logged in on your phone, so I'm going to put mine in. All right. There we go. Okay, so once you do that, you'll see it starting. Okay, just hit okay here. I'll show you the whole thing. It wants to use the, this is how it's going to sign the app and make it okay to go on your phone so your phone's not gonna reject it. So just hit okay there. And this will just take a minute and then it'll be on your phone. You'll see it pop up here in a second. Let's go ahead and start watching this screen.